Good morning, my friends. Lady Ember here once again for today's message with spirit. So if you are new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome. Just so you know, I do this every day. These messages are timeless. Those who need to hear them will hear them. I talk to my ancestors. I talk to my guides. I talk to spirit. I talk to my friends on the other side. I am a intuitive medium. I am a psychic and I am a professional spellcaster. I am a a messenger for spirit. I am also a beacon of love and light. I am a high priestess for the Dragon Rose Coven and I work as a professional spellcaster. So guys, understand that I take this very very seriously and uh this morning they're like ember ember get up it's morning it's time for a new day and oh do we have a lot to say so i'm up earlier than i have been for the past couple of days i get it i get it a little bit tired, not sleeping as well as I should sometimes. We've all had those days, right? But let's go ahead and dive right on in. Because I know that this message is important. So I'm going to go ahead and open the channel now. If you have any questions about me, or if you have any questions about the craft, need advice, need help with your spells, a personal reading, All of my contact information is down below. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, guides. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, angels. Thank you, friends on the other side for giving me the clear and distinct messages today for what my friends out here need to hear. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you have blessed us with. And I know that these messages are important. Thank you for helping me be a messenger and a guide. All right, I'm getting the downloads. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting, guys, is uh, I am actually getting a picture of two hands held together, right? And they're holding a match. Now... They look kind of feminine hands. I can't tell you if they are or not because, you know, gender's fluid here. Sexuality is fluid. Names are fluid. But it's two hands. And I think they're female. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to say they're female because I'm, I'm seeing acrylic nails, guys. These are coffin nails. So they've got the points on the end and they're black based and they're dripped in red. So it kind of looks like the They've been dipped in blood. But anyway, that's all I'm seeing, right? And uh, they're holding this match. And this match is burning, burning bright. So this is where we're going to start, okay? They're playing the song for me in my head right now by Jordan Sparks. Stand in the light and be seen as you are. So, guys, I'm getting a really strong message right now that there is only light. You need to allow the light into your life. You need to stand in that light. You need to be one with that light. Okay, so right now, they're showing me a picture of Talasa Taloku. Now, she is the Toltec Earth Mother, okay? She is the goddess of carnal love and desire. And like Kali in India, she's portrayed as horrible most of the time. She's like this huge devouring figure, yet she's also looked up to. 
she's honored as a moving force, a creative principle in people's lives. Now, she's best known for being the eater of impurities, the eater of sins. And the legend states that once in a lifetime, a person who needed redemption could go to her. And they would confess their worst deeds and sins, holding back nothing. Because confession is good for the soul. And in return, the confessor received absolution. No impurity or defilement was too great to be forgiven. You see, she is that deep part of ourselves that we fear because it is so powerful and unfamiliar. Yet when we touch her through her fearsome continence, we embrace her for being different and being who she is. We find absolute mercy. We find forgiveness. We find love and desire. My friends on the other side want me to tell you that she is proof that anything can be overwhelming and destroy us. But it also has the power to heal and grant forgiveness. Interesting. Guys, I'm thinking you need to embrace this. Confession is good for the soul. Time to receive absolution. So you can do restitution. And there will be a resolution in your life. Now they're telling me to be flexible. Stay in the flow. Be like the river. But be flexible. Don't be rigid. Loyalty. No. Loyalty is paramount and key. You have to be loyal to yourself, to your family, to your friends. And remember, guys, family is not necessarily blood. It is who you stand by, who stands by you, who has your back, who you hang out with. Loyalty is important. So is patience. They're stressing, have patience now. Well, they're also telling you that you're on the honoring path with your intention. And as long as you stand in the light and be seen as you are, as your authentic self, you're going to make a great Great discovery. And this discovery is going to help you be enough. It's going to help you find completion, to be satisfied, to realize your dreams. Really? Again with the pictures? Okay. Guys, it's a picture day. Trust me, because now they're showing me Kuan Yin. And if you're not sure who Kuan Yin is, she is a Chinese goddess of infinite mercy and compassion, right? And she's been revered throughout Asia for thousands of years. Her name literally means she who listens to the sounds of suffering in the world. Now, in the Buddhist tradition, 
she is an aspect of the Avatavistyara, the Bodhisattva who sprang from one of Buddha's tears. Now, in legend, she once took the form of Mayoshan, a woman who was spurned by her father for refusing to marry. Later, Mayoshan sacrificed both arms and legs in order so that her father may be healed. Now, <clears throat> this embodies Kuan Yin also. Like I said, this was once her. Kuan Yin's appeal is particularly widespread because she gives assistance in this world. She provides the earthly blessings of children, health, and long life. She rescues people from drowning, lightning, and poverty. And she's the protector of women. So embrace the feminine. Embrace that infinite mercy and compassion for yourself and for others. You see, she is a symbol of the unlimited compassion each of us can have for ourselves. No matter what the situation may be, it's possible to treat ourselves with mercy and love. And if we treat ourselves with mercy and love, guys, we're automatically going to treat others with mercy and love. Now, they're telling me that you got to embrace that inner bitch fire and stand up for yourself. You're not a doormat. Okay? You don't have welcome stamped all over your forehead. You give, and it's okay to give. But know that there are limits. Know that there are times you have to stand up for yourself and go, uh-uh. Hail to the mother hut, no. Okay? And yes, I said mother fudden. Just so we're clear. But you got to stand up for yourself. You got to embrace that bitch fire. Which goes right along, guys, with that entire message that we've been giving. Especially where they're telling you to stand in the light and be seen as you are on the honoring path. Guys, confidence is coming. You need confidence, yes, but confidence comes with time and practice. So keep it up. You're doing the right thing. You really are. And this voyage that you're taking, this new journey that you're starting on, this adventure, you already have all the answers you see. You're just stuck in your head about it. Get out of your head. Act. Ship sailing, man. Sailor leads the way. Are you ready to set sail? Are you ready to fly high? To change your life? You have all the answers you need. Travel lightly, they're saying. You don't need all the trappings. You don't need materialism. You need you. Simplify your life physically and emotionally. And guys, they said the same thing yesterday. Simplify. Be light. Be free. Travel lightly. This journey that you're going on, you've got to have that bitch fire confidence and courage as well as compassion to stand in the light. You also need to navigate by the stars. Guys, they're really stressing a change of direction, a change of course. For those of you who don't know, sailors used to navigate by the stars before we had these fancy computer thingies, right? Automatic navigation, GPS. And they just set sail, right? Because they love to set sail. They would follow their bliss. Now, 
My friends, you're being asked to set sail today, to follow your bliss, navigate by the stars and journey by moonlight to a whole new world. And this voyage you can't get out of. Like it or not, you're going to be on that boat. You are on that boat. Angels and spirit are guiding, leading the way. They're saying this is a time of incredible accomplishment, successful completion. You're good. You're justified in feeling joy. It's okay. Be grateful for it. That sense of completion that you have, that pride in the amazing job that you've done, relish in it. Embrace it. Support you. Support it. You've worked hard to get here. You stayed on the honoring path in the light. You embraced compassion and confidence and bitch fire. You confessed. And you found absolution. You have found forgiveness. So maybe it's just you need to apologize, guys. I don't know. Maybe you're in a tiff with somebody. But if you stand in the light and you be seen as you are and you stand on that honoring path and you make that discovery about what it is that you need to understand, whether it's within yourself or another person or the situation, everything changes. You have been blessed with so many spiritual insights. You're about to begin a brand new journey. Navigate by the stars. Follow your bliss. Travel lightly. But for now... Take time to bask in the happiness that your dreams are about to come true. We have the Spirit's word on that. And the angels. Now, guys, heavens are opening up their loving arms. And they are pouring abundance onto you, okay? And abundance comes in a lot of different forms. Wonderful news is headed your way also. And I don't know if it's about your career, a new job, a promotion, acceptance into a school, a wedding, a birth. I don't know. Some happy milestone event that you've been trying to get to, right? You might feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. By all means, do it, especially when it comes to business. Guys, I keep being given this, I don't know if it's news, if it's a package, both. I mean, sometimes good news in itself is a great gift, right? But I just keep seeing this, this thick box, right? It's like you, you get from like Amazon Prime or something and it's got wings on it. So I'm gonna assume it's either news or it's, you know, gifts, whatever it is, Accept it with gratitude and humility, knowing that you'll have a chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future. Now, guys, I'm, I'm also being shown a list of words here. These are qualities. And I don't know if you, you need to embrace these or you need to be around someone who's with these. They're not saying today. But this, this is someone who's fun to be around. A bit mischievous. They're youthful. They're optimistic. They're very clever. You need them. They're important. Follow their advice. Stay on the honorable path and the light with them.
I'm also being told, consider volunteering, guys. Give back. When you give with a heart that has no expectations other than to just give for the sake of giving to help others, it brings its own rewards. So consider volunteering for a charitable organization. Give from the heart. Restitution brings reciprocation. All right. Wrap it up, Ember. Wrap it up. So that is all the messages that Spirit has for you today. My friends on the other side, the angels, ancestors. Thank you. Thank you for all of your messages. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here with me today, this morning. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single message because these are timeless. If you have any questions, need a personal reading or supplies for your spells, perhaps you need a spell cast for you, by all means, reach out to me. My information is in the description box below. Remember, you get what everybody else gets. You get a life. How you use it is completely up to you. Make it the most magical one possible. Go in love and light. Peace and progress. Ember out. Mm -hmm.